So I realized that I sound different. That makes no sense. I'm just gonna start it. <laughs> oh snap! Hold on. Oh no! Stop. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. This is so nerve wracking. But I don't even know why I'm doing a voiceover for this piece because it doesn't need one. Does it? I guess I just wanted something else other than music. But like now that I'm thinking about it, I really didn't need to do this. I could have just like chilled and put music over it and called it a day. Anyway, so I'm watching the um the speed paint of um <laughs> My webtoon cover and honestly every time I watch me do a speed paint I realize that it took me forever to do this and I'm watching it in like six minutes it's kind of it's kind of hard to talk over I'm like you know I'm one of those people that just watches videos in silence <laughs> until something happens where I want to say something out loud but I'm uh, falling into silence I guess that's why people cut up their voiceovers so it's not always silent smart smart okay um and I can edit out all those little because that's annoying too I guess I don't know I'm critiquing myself for no reason honestly Cause like it's not that deep. <laughs> oh, but I guess I should talk about how it all started. So all this started because I want to make a webtoon called Witch Doctor, which is basically about this girl who didn't know that she was a witch until one day she had like this huge accident at school, or I think it was over summer. I don't remember, but like there's this accident where she has to like leave so her parents can like keep the secret of the family in the magical world so she has to go live with her grandma <laughs> and while she's living with her grandma that's how she discovers she's like a witch and she's learning how to use her magic but she realizes like her life before wasn't really that perfect as she once thought it was and her mom's kind of the villain but I might change that later I might edit this out because I don't need you guys to know who the villain is yet but she might just be like a huge villain. I don't know. There might not even be a villain in this story. Anyways, so the um the the main character, I think her name's Violet. Sorry to say I don't have any names for any of my characters except for Jesso because I I like how that sounds. <laughs> I like how it sounds. So one of my characters' name is Jesso. I don't think I, I think I should do um, an um uh, OC lineup with all these characters for this webtoon. That would be cute. But yeah, it's just like a slice of life of um, Violet learning to you know come with her witch powers and get over her little trauma and everything with her mom, because her mom does cause her trauma. Like, in the speed paint, you'll see that on one side she has um a clear face and the other side she has freckles. I don't know if I like the freckles because, like, it kind of looks like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like dirt every time I rewatch this. I'm like, does it look like dirt? Should I change it? But <laughs> aside from that, it's kind of like, oh... I have to like be pretty, you know, no flaws, can't make people see my freckles. I'm like the girly girl, the popular girl. She's a Heather. That That's what it is. She's a Heather. And when she moves in with her grandma, all her Heatherness is kind of like stopped because her grandma lives like technically in a small town. So all the Heather stuff stops because it's like, what are you going to say to these people? <laughs> You you live with them now. You can't really say much. You are leaving, but like, come on now. I 
guess I can talk about the color schemes. Um, the color schemes are very wishy-washy. Even her skin tone, I, uh, like the first part of it, I couldn't get her skin tone down because I was just like playing with colors. So yeah, I guess the one side is a lot more magical and like free with different kind of colors, lots of bright colors. And then the left side is like makeup, girly girl, lol, da da da, all that foolishness. <laughs> Can you tell I'm not a girly girl? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and that's about it. I don't think I really did anything crazy. I just wanted to show magic and fun. And girly and fun, I guess. Girly and fun can be the same thing, too. I don't really know the story yet. But it's going to be a slice of life and it's going to be fun. So that's hopeful, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, bye! <laughs>